Alright guys, today we're going to be doing a Gorilla Tag map tier list. J-Man, why did you invite me here? Don't worry about it, K9. Me and K9 are going to rank all the maps from 1 to 10, and we are going to see which one is the best Gorilla Tag map. You ready, K9? Uh, yeah, J-Man, I'm ready. Oh, and rotating maps don't count because it's too much. Yeah, I would agree. First map is Forest. What do you think about Forest, K9? It was the first map of Gorilla Tag, so it shouldn't really get a bad rating. I mean, it was a good map when it came out. Yeah, that is true. And that's where we learn most of the mechanics from. I'd say the map is pretty unique as well, and pretty fun also. What would you rate it? I'll rate a 4 out of 5. What do you think, K9? Yeah, I'd say a 4 out of 5. Next map we got is Caves. Um, Do we do the old one or the new one? Let's just do the new one. Let's get over with. It's pretty beautiful. It's got a whole bunch of colors. It's got some nice silence when you tap on the crystals. I feel like it's kind of an underrated map. I mean, like, they tried bringing back the old stuff from the old caves, and it just didn't really work out as much. So I'd give it, like, a 3 out of 5, maybe. No, I actually like it. I'll give it, like, a 4 out of 5. Next up is Canyons. I really like the new Canyons. It introduced the ropes and it introduces zip lines as well, which I thought was really cool in my opinion. Yeah, I would say the same as you. But, like, I don't know about the whole structures things at the bottom. I mean, like... Yeah, I know, you, you're supposed to make it look detailed, so that looks all cool and stuff, but like, I don't know, you can't really do anything there. I mean, roleplay, yeah, sure, but like, nobody really likes roleplay anyways. I'll give it a 5 out of 5, I really like it. Nah, I don't know about me, I'll give it a 4, it's good. Next is City. City introduced all of the new cosmetic when it first came out. One thing I do I complain about though is that the comp course is so easy, so basically any kids could get in the comp lab, and it's kinda annoying. Yeah, that is a fair point. I say a 3 out of 5. Yeah, 3 out of 5 is good. Alright, what do you think about mountains? Uh, it's good. Yeah, it's good, but like, it's not the best. I mean, like, the slime mechanics are cool, but like, it's kind of dull now. And the fan doesn't really make up for it as well, uh, given the revamp. Yeah, I'd say, um... 4 out of 5? Uh, 3 out of 5 for me. Alright, K9, what do you think about clouds? Yeah, I didn't expect anything to come out of your mouth when I said that. Okay, what about basement? Honestly, J-Man is kind of mid. Yeah, I'll say the same. I mean, like, the science experience one wasn't too bad, but, like, it just kind of bland, you know? Yes, yeah, it's the same. Uh, what about a 2 out of 5? Yeah, 2 out of 5. Final map is beach. What do you think about beach? I'd say beach is a pretty unique map. I mean, like, it introduces swim mechanics, which I thought was pretty cool. And plus, everybody wanted a beach map behind the secret tunnels, so it worked. Yeah, it did work. I would give it, like, a 4 out of 5. Yeah, give it a 4 to 5. It's pretty good. You heard it from us. The best map is Canyons, and the worst map is Clouds. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good April Fools.